I, I have a few to break from what we were talking about. We're going to come back to it. But I'd like to have uh, young people on the show that are accomplishing things. And this young lady in the studio, I'd followed some of her volleyball career. She's in the 10th grade at St. James. Carson Ann Crow, her mom Marla is with her, and her dad's a lawyer and a friend of mine, Mike Crow. Carson Ann, good morning. Good morning. Appreciate you uh, coming in off of sports radio, but it's way more interesting down here. <laughs> but Carson Ann, you're in the 10th grade. Yes. And you play varsity volleyball at St. James. And I already knew your name. I followed your career some. I watched uh, some of the high school sports. You just got through the state tournament. Describe to the audience what that experience was like. Um, the state tournament, it's the best tournament all year, I think. And um, we've, St. James has been runner-up two years in a row. And it's great. Like, it's a great accomplishment for the St. James team to um, get this far in the tournament. And, and let me tell you, it's tough to even get where you were. You go through the playoffs, you have to get in the playoffs, and I guess as soon as you lose, you're out. It's not, I mean, you play multiple sets, but you lose, you're gone. Yes. And y'all got to go to Birmingham, and you had the disappointment of being the runner-up two years in a row, but that's quite an achievement. But describe the lessons you learn. How about from losing? What lessons you learn from being runner-up two years in a row, but going that far? What have you learned about that? Um, I think losing always gives me, I know, like, a drive to win more, like, to play better and to, um... You know, somebody's got to walk away not winning the game. And y'all won so many. What was your record this year in St. James Volleyball, Carson? I think it was 34 and 11. Yeah, so there's a lot of games that y'all walked away. And, you know, but sport, sportsmanship is part of that. Yeah. And, uh, what did, who is your coach at St. James? I should know um, that. Coach Karen Lee, and um, the assistant is Jeff Waring. And you, uh, in the 10th grade, were selected. Uh, uh, tell me the awards you received in the state tournament uh, with the competition you all had. Um, I got all-tournament team for, um, like, at state. And, and it happened last year as well in the ninth grade. Yes, sir. Something tells me that you may have a college volleyball career you're pursuing. Is that something you're interested in? Yes, sir. And uh, what type of schools are you, you thinking about? Where would you like to play college volleyball? Or are you just um, open? Well, I'm open to anything, really. Now, the challenges of being a student athlete. You were up here this morning. John Longshore interviewed you on sports radio because you're uh, athlete of the week, I guess. And I sometimes see the kids coming in, and you were one of them. What, how hard is it to balance sports that you participate in and your academics, like at St. James, where it's very challenging academic uh, curriculum? Um, yeah, St. James is a challenging school, and it's pretty hard to balance both of it. But I think I do a good job. I have a 4.0, so. I would say you're doing fine. Uh, but, you know, Caleb had a 4.0, but they had two semesters together. That's the way he and I were. You put a two point and a two point, and you got four. But you did it all at the same time. Yes, sir. And, uh, but, but the competition, do you play other sports? Um, no, no, sir. You focus on volleyball. Yes. And been doing travel volleyball for years, do I understand? Yes. Now, we can't get by without mentioning your brother. <laughs> now, Cade plays football. They're in the playoffs this Friday. St. James plays this Friday, don't yes. they? Yes. And he's big lineman. I see the pictures of him and all that. <laughs> he's older than you. Yes, he's a junior. And how does an older brother uh, affect a young sister who's an athlete? Tell me what he might have done that helped you or um, encouraged you along the way. His brother is very encouraging. Um, and he's very um, – he strives to do his best. He goes early and he works out all the time. And uh, he loves football so much. And he wants to be the best he can be, and he's improved so much these past two years or three years. And he, 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 I'm looking at that line. They got a couple of them on that line, and and uh, is it Ben Gray's? What? Well, seems like which which grades is on the? Um, grade? it's William. Gray. William, the, the younger one, and uh, they're side by side. They're about. Is your brother about six five? Six four. Six four. He's good size. Yeah. But uh, I I love athletics. I think it's so important to your development. And does your coach stress not only how to play the game, and I couldn't possibly start going in that with you. I don't know how you do. I don't know the rules. Yes. Three hits, right, and open. Yes. That much I know. But what are the lessons that you think uh, your coach has pushed on you outside of how to play volleyball that you think you'll take forward in life? Um, our coach has taught us a lot of lessons, I think, like um, 
like being the best person we can be and um, like giving God the glory and everything like that. And she just pushes us to be the best. And, and during those moments when uh, things are not good, because sometimes you, you get, people get injured and they lose their ability to participate in the season and people go through things on the team, different things. But it is, uh, you know, we always say it's about winning and losing. Well, it really isn't. It's about life and you learning about life being on a team. Because even a championship team, and y'all are a championship team, you've lost 11 games this year. And the team that defeated you in the finals, I think y'all were beaten early in the year, right? Yes, we, we beat them at our Spanish sports tournament that we went to this year. Well, congratulations to you. And uh, you're just in the 10th grade, so we're expecting great things ahead for you. But to be in the 9th and 10th grade make all tournament, at the level y'all play volleyball at St. James, that's an amazing story. So we know you'll have an important career. Do you watch uh, uh, volleyball on TV? Um, yes, sir. It's all over the SEC network. <laughs> I mean, I, I watch it. You know, the, I, I enjoy it. Uh, I don't understand it sometimes. But how do you just go down? I was talking to my daughter about it. who doesn't play volleyball, and she had been to the playoffs. She was talking about how aggressive y'all are diving for those balls. And how were you taught to dive for a ball and just let your body leap down to, what you call it, a dig? Um, yes. And, well, I don't know. You don't want to... It's not natural to do that. <laughs> so how were you taught to just dive to, to do a dig? Well, you don't want to lose the point, so you give it everything you have to not let the ball hit the ground, because if it hits the ground, you lose the point. So you just want to keep it up in the air. Well, you, you've, uh, you've done a great job on the radio with me. You've represented the school well. Congratulations to you to that achievement. And good luck to your brother, Kay, this weekend in St. James. How's Coach Perry doing? Is he, is he back up? Um, he's in the hospital. Okay. He um, had some problems with his heart. Right. right. Um, just we need some prayers for him. We do. He's a good man. He coached at Lee High School here in town. He coached at St. Paul's. But he's a, he's a fine football coach and a fine leader of uh, young men on that football team. And our prayers got to Coach Perry. We need to get him back strong. But uh, well, thanks for being here. And thanks to your mom, Marla. Did, you, did she do any of her selfies today? She usually goes live or something with that phone with Kim Hendricks. Yes, they go live. I mean, um, your, your mama was not a TV anchor at WSFA. I understand Kim doing it, but your mama's taking to it. She could probably do some of that for the show. Yeah, I think they need to be up here on the radio. <laughs> they do. They're invited. You, Kim and your mom are invited up here to do a show with me one day. So right. We'll see if they'll take me up. On. Thanks, Carson. Thank good luck you. to you. Marla, thank you for doing a good